Hey guys, welcome to another Walking Dead tier list video. Of course, this will be season six. And we got a lot of characters here, you know. Um, by this point in the series, these characters start to build up, you know, a lot of a lot of stragglers that don't do a whole lot, but uh, we're gonna do our best to try and rank on who is the best survivor. And of course, you know, as the show goes on, dead weight is gonna mean, you know, less and less. Because people, you know, I mean, there's characters on here that do kill zombies, you know. There's that whole scene in the middle of season six where, you know, the outbreak in Alexandria happens and everybody kills a zombie. But everyone can't be a true survivor. So we're going to have to be a little bit more uh, harsh on the ruling. Just for example, let, let's say Olivia right here, all right. She did, you know, technically kill some zombies in that. But uh, would you call her a true survivor? Useful? even average probably not I mean what kind of skills does she really have sorry Olivia but uh you're gonna have to go in dead weight who else I mean Gregory Gregory right here he's pretty shit um I mean he's a leader for one that's the best thing about him but how good of a leader is he really uh his own people try to stab him so <laughs> not really good in that department any good combat skills nope just plain survival skills nope Oh, don't really know too much about him other than he might be like a politician or something. I don't know. So he's gonna have to go in dead weight too. Probably better than Olivia. Well, honestly, he can't even kill a zombie. He tried. Is Gregory really worse than Olivia? She, I, yep, I guess. Makes sense. Let's go next with. Let's just go ahead and get Simon out of the way. Simon is the only savior on this list I got. Um. I guess technically Negan is in season six, but I'm gonna save him for season seven because you don't see too much of him except for like five minutes of screen time. So, and we saw Simon for at least one episode. Simon, now we don't know too much. Is he a true survivor? Does he have survival skills? Any like combat experience? Anything noteworthy? Uh, probably not. We only ever see him around his goons. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that. I mean, he definitely has strategic abilities. He's pretty slimy. You don't really want him on your team. Fuck. He can kind of fight. I mean, he, he did fight Negan in a later season. He lost, but he still fought. Got some good hits in. I'll put him in useful for now. I mean, he is really slimy. And he, he likes to kill people. Which isn't a good trait to have in a group. Average. Average. I might change my mind. Uh, Sherry. <laughs> What does Sherry do in season six? I mean, she's only in one episode with Dwight. They betray Daryl. I mean, they do kind of get a jump on him, which isn't an easy task to do on Daryl. But how much of how much did Sherry play a role in that? I, I don't know. It was mostly Dwight. I'm gonna I'm gonna put her in almost decent. Almost decent. Dwight, him and Sherry were out there surviving for. I don't remember how long, maybe a few weeks. But then they had that uh, handicap of dealing with the girl with insulin. So that's not easy. Dwight, at this point, he is useful. I mean, he's a he knows how to shoot. He's a bow guy, and shooting a bow, I feel like, is a lot harder than shooting a gun. I'll probably put him there. His, his mind is a lot more level-headed than Simon's, per se. So that's going to give him the lead, plus his crossbow abilities. So yeah, useful, useful guy. Let's go ahead and get the main characters out the way, actually. So, Glenn. Now, this season, I think Glenn, he took his first life. He survived that dumpster incident, you know? He survived pretty good for like days under there with hardly any water or anything. You know, that's, that's pretty shitty, pretty shitty environment. So I think Glenn, this is his final season too, so I think he finally deserves true survivor as well you know michonne is obviously true survivor carol's a true survivor as well i mean she fucks people up in this season all those wolves i mean she yeah she messed them up she messed them up good daryl of course top top he is like the epitome of a true survivor rick true survivor as well yeah i mean this is this is good this is good right here morgan he's uh kind of crazy but in a different kind of way i mean all life is precious to him at this stage of the show he's not killing people but i mean he did survive 
He survived for a long ass time by himself. I'm gonna put him there above Glenn. And he knows the stick art, and that's pretty good. He fucks people up with that. Uh, next up we got Eastman, the guy that trained more. He knows the stick pretty well as well. So where is Eastman gonna go? He knows how to milk a goat. He knows some farmer skills. He built a fucking jail cell too. I mean, he's got architectural skills, combat skills. He's he's smart. He's wise. Honestly, is he a true survivor? You think he would be able to survive on his own like Morgan did? Very interesting. Very interesting debate in my mind right now. Where should he, where should Eastman go? We only ever see him in one episode, so hmm interesting 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 i'm gonna put him in top useful top useful well i mean shit if we saw him a little bit more then i would be swayed to put him in a true survivor but right now put him in top tier useful jesus jesus is a master martial artsman he knows very good combat shit he goes on runs by himself all the time you know at this stage in the apocalypse that's it's not easy, especially with people like the saviors and shit running around. He tricked Rick and Daryl, which is pretty good, but honestly, they did have a point where they could have killed him, but they didn't. So I'm gonna have to put him a true survivor as well. Carol or Jesus, who's winning? Jesus would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but Carol has some other sleek advantages that Jesus doesn't really have, and she's willing to kill, so. Him and Morgan are in the same boat right here. They don't kill. Well, I mean, uh, Jesus does kill someone in that saver outpost, so. Okay, yeah, this this looks good. Put him there. We got some Alexandrians here. Let's start off with Scott. Yeah, what does Scott do in season six? He is a runner. I mean, he shows it with Heath, I think. So he was gone for a while with just him, Heath, and that other chick. And he's the only one to survive out of that group to survive with Michonne. You know, when that whole fucking Walker debacle happened, so... Yeah, that gives him some points. We are gonna put him in average. Maybe he'll be below Simon. This guy, this guy's the guy that whines a lot, tries to betray Rick and do a little coup d'etat type shit on him. Um, but he wasn't good at it. He completely fucked that up. Rick pretty much could have killed him, but no, he survived a little bit longer. Just to kind of ruin the whole operation. <laughs> to get the walkers, you know, safely away. He was screaming. He's, I'll put him right here. He, uh, man, I mean, is he any good? Man, he's pretty shit, not gonna lie. Dead weight, I'll put him dead weight. Top tier dead weight. I mean, he's got balls, I'll give him that. Next up we got Heath. Heath is pretty useful. He's like a low tier Glenn. He goes on runs and shit for like months at a time, so pretty useful. I mean, he knows his way around. He's probably one of the most capable Alexandrian so far. So I'm comfortable with putting him in useful. Yeah, he also survives that. Him and Scott survived that whole fucking Walker shenanigans shit that happened. Next up, we got Eric, Aaron's boyfriend. Honestly, I don't remember a single fucking thing this guy did this whole season, so I'm gonna have to put him. I mean, he stays. He stays the same. Almost decent. I mean, he's probably worse than her to be honest spencer spencer goes out of his way to go out into the wilderness and kill a zombie mom you know so i mean that's something just for that i'm gonna put him above these people top tier almost decent that fits pretty good with spencer at this point i guess i mean he does have balls he tried to fucking climb over that line you know with all the zombies and shit so hey he he, he does stuff he does do stuff enid of course i mean she's still useful She's, I mean, she doesn't do a whole lot, but she does have the ability to survive. You know, she can survive somehow. She survived a while out in the wilderness by herself, eating turtles in last season. Um, she still has that ability, so keep her in useful. You know, pretty good, pretty good. We'll do Jesse. Jesse, she kills a wolf. She survives for a little while. Um, if it wasn't for the death of these two little dudes, then, or at least this guy right here, she probably would have survived a lot longer. Probably has potential. I'll put her under Scott. Oh fuck, not, not there. Under Scott, she's got potential. She w she was average when she died. Uh, these guys, he's straight up dead weight, probably bottom below Gregory. This guy, I mean, fuck, what's his name? Evil Carl. Evil Carl learned a little bit of gun training from Rick this season, so I mean. But he also does, uh, he fucks around. He fucks around, gets Carl almost killed a few times. 
Gets the whole gang killed almost a few times. Put him right there. Dead weight. Who else? Who else? Aaron. He's useful too. Who's better? Aaron or Heath? Heath goes out on runs, but so does Aaron. But Aaron does it alone. So you gotta keep that in account, you know? Heath has a group. He's got three people that go on runs with him, but Aaron just did that shit by himself, so. Pretty good. Pretty good shit. And he can kind of fight. Yeah, feel good about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get Rosita, Eugene, and Abraham out the way. Starting with Rosita. Rosita is very useful. We mentioned in the last couple episodes. She hasn't really changed too much in the past few seasons. I mean, Rosita definitely is one of my favorite characters, but I mean, she's skillful. You know, she knows explosives and all kinds of fucking shit from people that she learned from in the past. So, pretty useful. I mean, she can fight. Is she better? I don't think she's better than Aaron. Aaron's pretty useful. Yeah, I'll put her there. I'll put her right there. Eugene. Okay, so. Eugene is smart. <laughs> he is really smart, and that takes him a long way. And he's getting better. This season, he did learn how to fight a little bit. He killed his first zombies whenever they overran Alexandria, like everyone else did. Uh, he went over some training with Rosita at one point, and I'll be real with you, I mean, that moment when he bit the White's balls, that was some real OG shit. You know, so I'm gonna have to, just because of that, He's getting there. I mean, he is very useful at this point. I'm gonna say he's more useful than Eden, probably more useful than Dwight. He finds the factory this season and he knows how to make bullets. Man, honestly, he's rising the ranks. Eugene is useful. I mean, what can you say? It's kind of hard to argue that at this point. He's very useful, especially now that he's starting to get combat experience and is willing to bite some dude's balls to save his friends. So, hey, pretty good. Abraham. He's useful too. Put him above Aaron. He is a he has military experience, very good combat experience, and in the zombie apocalypse, he's like him and Eugene are two sides of the same coin, you know. But Abraham is all combat experience. He's a warrior type, and then Eugene is all brains, you know, all knowledge. So when you put them together, they're like an unstoppable force. But separately, Eugene, the knowledge I think is at this point starting to outrank this guy's combat. But I guess it really depends on the situation. Which, in this situation, just plain zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I'm gonna put him there. Next up we got Tara. I mean, Tara's still about the same. I mean, she ends up going on a run with Heath for a while, and you don't see Tara for a, a good bit here. Um, I'm gonna have to put her, like, right here. Scott's better, sorry. Yeah, good for Scott. Who, who we got, who we got? We'll do Denise. This is her first and last season. Um, she is the doctor replacement after uh, the other one got shot in the head by Rick, so she's I don't think she's as skilled as being a doctor and she does kill a zombie You know she she gets away with it. She just gets jumped. She wasn't very fortunate Can't really put her past that. I mean no one saw that shit coming up I and mean, Daryl put her at the end of average you know, being a doctor is pretty good, but he's also uh, not really good out in the field. So we got Tobin, he's a construction worker, you know, he's, I mean, he's a two hands on deck, you know, you can't go wrong with just having that. So I'll put him at top tier, almost decent. I think he's better than all these people, but I wouldn't call him, you know, middle ground fucking zombie survivor. Doesn't really have too many useful traits. Being a doctor is probably better. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, Deanna, we, I fucking skipped over Deanna. Leader, like I said, she's accurate. I'll probably put her right here. Yes, she's the leader of Alexandria for a little while, and then she gets bit, and then she, you know, shoots some zombies, has decent aim. She wasn't a bad leader, she just, she wasn't the greatest, you know? I mean, she looked past the whole violent Alexandria thing, like Pete, you know, beating his wife and shit. Because he's a doctor, so that's not really good, but eh, she's decent. You know, you could have a worse leader. Nicholas. Nicholas is a giant pussy, and he almost gets Glenn killed. He, um, I mean, he almost had his character arc. He found one of the people that he not directly killed, but got killed, and killed him as a zombie, and had his, uh, you know, start figuring his own shit out. But then, of course, he had to go and, you know, blow his own brains out. Better than Sherry. I don't know how Sherry is at this point. I didn't see Fear of the Walking Dead. I know at some point she probably comes back and does some stuff. But at this point in the show, I mean, what did she, what did she do? 
I'll put him right there. Just because, I mean, still the same thing. He goes on runs. You know, he, he does go on runs. And if it wasn't for that bad situation, he might have been better. But almost got Glenn killed. Maggie. Maggie is very useful. I mean, she's starting to take the leader role at this point when she's at Hilltop. I mean, that's good. She's also a farmer. She can kick ass. She fights. Honestly, she's probably a true survivor at this point, too. Um, she, I mean, she didn't go through any shit like Glenn did in that one episode, but she's starting to get her leader role. Maybe next season. Maybe next season when she finally takes control, but I'm going to still keep her useful. I'll keep her right here. Eugene Smarts, man. I mean, it takes him a long, takes him a long way. He could probably figure out how to farm pretty good, too. <laughs> Carl. Carl's getting better. Every season, he gets a little bit better. He had some balls. He took down evil Carl. Showed him who's boss. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, he does get shot in the, in the face. It's not really his fault. He's just in the wrong place, I guess. So, yeah, uh, Carl... Honestly, I feel like Carl is better than Terra. Could Carl go on runs? You think at this point Carl could be on a team of three and go on runs? Probably. I'll put him there. Average. He's seen some shit. He's been through some shit. He's hardened by the world, so good spot. Uh, next up, we got the Wolf Guy. W Man. Uh, don't know his name. He, honestly, he is a true survivor. He is crazy, though. Crazy will take you down. Crazy is not good to be in the zombie apocalypse because you can't think clearly. Definitely not good to be on a team unless the whole team is crazy like his team. I'm putting him at the end of True Survivor just because, listen, he do be surviving. They don't have a base camp from what we've seen. You know, they're just out in the world doing shit in the wilderness, killing people. And I know killing people isn't good, but if you can do it consistently then that means you're pretty much a survivor you know you can be killing people and you're still surviving so hey wolf guy wolf guy is up here put him behind glenn though and then last but not least we have gabriel now this season he did step up last season he was definitely dead weight but he he's been proving himself he saved he went out of his way to save rick's baby you know he was in charge of that he gains Rick's trust throughout the season, and by the end of it, Rick trusts him to be the, the rifleman that watches over Alexandria while everyone else is gone. So, hey, I'm gonna have to. I mean, he went from dead weight to uh, average, I would say, and he also did kill some people. He was in on that whole savior extermination plan. He did kill some motherfuckers, so that's pretty good. Pretty good for Gabriel. So, I'm gonna have to put Gabriel. I'll put him right here. Average. I mean, Tara, you know, she's very average. I would say Tara is peak average, even though Simon is like on the verge of being average to useful. She is like middle average. You can't get more average than Tara. Oh yeah, and Sasha, Sasha is pretty good. You know, she's a sniper. Um, she went a little crazy back in season five, you know, started having like PTSD shit while socializing with the Alexandrians. Her and o Abraham went on a run together and you know, they, they did pretty good, even though they almost died, but Daryl saved them. She's about the same level as Rosita, but Rosita, I feel like, a little bit more experience and knows a little bit more, has more skills that could be useful, whereas Sasha's pretty much just a sniper. But hey, I mean, that's pretty good. Better than a lot of other people. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will be back for Season 7 very soon, and we can get into the Saviors and Negan. Hope you guys have a nasty night, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.